first leg of the <laughs>
overbid final. And number one is Breeze Brief with John Campbell. The most expensive harness horse ever sold at public auction, $505,000 early this year. The highest lifetime money earned in the field, $363,000. Suddenly unreliable. Last week she had a clear lead around the track, getting her own fraction. She collapsed. Two weeks back she was full of pace to win. She broke in a seasonal debut. She's a big town of mayor. She remains the one to beat. Number two is Stormy Pursuit and Cat Manzi. Has remained deceptively sharp while hampered by a series of bad posts. Last year, week, she finished fastest of all, 26 and 4 last quarter. She's a storm damage mare. She's got some back New York side stakes class. She's somewhat common, however. She loves to swish her tail. As we said before, 7 o'clock was scratched. That brings up number four, Classy Kathy with Steve Manzi. Well, Steve Manzi's early season purchase has turned into a training masterpiece. This daughter of storm damage is a hot horse right now. She's won three in a row. Last week, she was the pocket rocket winning the uh, one of the legs here. She gets better and better with each start. She's earned respect at this point. Number five, Star Drift Hanover has Peter Rossito at the lines. The ultimate model of consistency. Nine for nine in the money this year. She packs a tremendous closing kick. She's an albatross mare akin to Madame Medusa, Artie's dream and fast night. She must be feared in here. Number six, Grand Vitesse has Carmine Abatello in the sulky. Appeared to be quickly on the improve until last week when she did not fire. She just won for 14 at the Meadowlands. She's an albatross mare, but realistically, she appears a bit too deep in here. Number seven, Rockin' Abbey, a winner of the first leg of the series, has Sonny Patterson Jr. in the sulky. Leading age pacing mare in North America for money earned in 1985, $243,000, 26 times first to second, thought to be strictly a half-mile track tigress, but in the first leg of this series, she roared from fourth over to pace over everybody. Two weeks back, she was used in very fearsome fashion. Last week at Roosevelt, a good second. Ever dangerous. And rounding out the field, number eight, Jazz Marilla with Dan Kazmaier. Useful Australian bred from last year. This year, she hasn't earned a dime, let alone win a dime in this series. She has no business being in the race. Luckily for the others, she's got the outside post. She can't get in anybody's way. What comes now is what we've all been waiting for, Paul Lucan's selection. If you remember last week, he gave out Breeze Brief, who had even money finished off the board. I want to say something here. This continually abuse at me with these handicappers. I think John Embryo is a jinx. I think you being here tonight is going to make the difference. Dave Johnson, the last three times I've done the show with Dave Johnson, I've picked seven straight winners, including a 1620 horse. Good for you. Yeah, <laughs> good for me is right. <laughs> what do you like tonight? I can't wait to make a pick tonight without Embryo here. Well, hurry up. Breeze Brief will jog tonight. Okay, I don't like Breeze Brief's last race. I like Star Drift Hanover. Let's see who the public goes for. Here's the closing odds. Breeze Reef is 3-2. to two. Stormy Pursuit is 8-1. to one. Classy Kathy, 7-2. to two. Number 5, Star Drift Hanover, 5-1. to one. Grand Vitesse is at 30. Rocket Abbey, 5-2. to two. And Jazz Marilla, 45-1. to one. The seven mares are lined up behind Pete Wager's starting gate. And John Bothy will call the action of the overbid. And they're off. It's Classy Kathy out for the lead with Breeze Brief. In second, that's Star Drift Town over in third. Along the rail, Stormy Pursuit. Around the first turn they go, and it is Classy Kathy. The lead is a length and a half. Breeze Brief second. With Star Drift Town over in third. Another two back, Rock and Abbey. Well, then it's two and a half to Stormy Pursuit. Another length and a half back, Grand Vitesse. Trailing is Jazz Marilla. Well, they go by the quarter, and Classy Kathy with the lead up on the outside. Breeze Brief to challenge. Opening quarter, 30 seconds even. Down the back stretch, and Breeze Brief. Now to take over the lead from Classy Kathy. Another two and a half lengths to Star Drift Hanover. Then it's another four to Rocket Abbey. Gap of five, Stormy Pursuit. Another length and a half back, Jazz Marilla. And Grand Vitesse is the trailer. Well, they go by the half, and it is Breeze Brief in front with Classy Kathy second, Star Drift Hanover third. They're by the half in 58 and 2. Onto the far turn. Breeze Brief. In front by a length. Classy Kathy is second. Star Drift Town over right there, third, with Rock and Abbey in fourth. Grand Vitesse fifth. Stormy Pursuit sixth. Jazz Marilla seventh. They approach three quarters. Breeze Brief. With the lead, with Classy Kathy in second, Star Drift Hanover swings to the outside, third, three quarters, one, 28 even, they're in the stretch, and it's Breeze Brief. In front air by two and a half. Late move by Star Drift Hanover, four outside, Rockin' Abbey. Breeze Brief with the lead, Rockin' Abbey on the far outside. Breeze Brief with Rockin' Abbey, Breeze Brief in front.
Bree's brief has shown that she merited $505,000 in the auction ring. She, Paul Lucan picked her and she still won the overbid. Yes, she did, in spite of everything. Classy Kathy steals a 30-second opening quarter. John Campbell says, I've had enough of this. He brushes Bree's brief to the top. He uh, steals, he gets away with a 29 and 3 third quarter. He motors clear with head strip, stretch. The source will get leg weary in a deep stretch, but Campbell puts it to a drive and she holds sway gamely. Cassie Cathy yielded for the pocket trip, but she simply doesn't have it tonight. Star Drift Hanover takes an early tuck, angles out, lacks her customary explosive pace, and Rock and Abbey steers wide and paces strongly to the wire, but she's not getting to the winner late. Breeze brief the winner, $5.360 and $2.40 across the board. Rock and Abbey second, $4.40 and $3 even. Five Star Drift Hanover returns to 60 in the show slot, and 7 o'clock was a late scratch. The exact one and seven, $18.